Please pause this video and answer the question before continuing. In this question, we are given some information about a certain probability involving balls in a box, and we want to find the value of n, the total number of balls in the box. Let's begin by summarizing the given information. First, we are told that the box contains n balls, three of which are white, and we're told that if two balls are randomly selected, the probability that both balls are white is equal to 1 12th. Okay, where do we go from here? Well, since it isn't clear which probability formula we need to apply here, let's see if we can rewrite the given probability so that we might gain some insight into how to proceed. To help us rewrite the probability, we'll ask the question, what must occur for both selected balls to be white? Well, for this to happen, the first ball selected must be white, and the second ball must be white. This we are told is equal to 1 12th. Now at this point we have an AND probability, which means we will apply one of our two AND probability formulas. Since the probability of selecting a white ball on the second draw depends on whether or not a white ball is selected on the first draw, these two events are dependent, so we will apply the formula for dependent events and rewrite the probability as follows. At this point we can calculate the two probabilities. First we'll find the probability of selecting a white ball on the first draw. Well since there are n balls altogether and three of them are white, the probability of selecting a white ball will be 3 over n. Next we must find the probability of selecting a white ball on the second draw given that a white ball is selected on the first draw. Well, let's see what happens when a white ball is selected on the first draw. When that happens, there are n minus 1 balls remaining, and two of them are white. So the probability of selecting a white ball on the second draw, given that a white ball is selected on the first draw, is equal to 2 over n minus 1. When we set this equal to 1 12th, we see that we have an equation we can solve for n. First, we'll simplify the left-hand side. Then we'll cross multiply and simplify both sides. Since this is a quadratic equation, we'll set it equal to zero, and then we'll factor the left hand side to get the following. Now if n minus 9 times n plus 8 is equal to zero, then n must equal 9 or negative 8. Since n cannot be negative in this question, we see that n must equal 9, which means the answer here is D.